Thus, Lucifer became the devil and his followers the demons. Sent to this world, they would forever be denied bodies of flesh and bone. Those who remained neutral in the battle were cursed to be born with black skin. This is the Mormon explanation for the Negro race. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, how was your holiday weekend? How was your Memorial Day? Good, good. You got enough barbecue in you? That's nice. Uh, Mr. Biden, how was your Memorial Day weekend? America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power, but by the power of our example. You can clap for that. <laughs> there you go, sir. There you go. <laughs> Mr. Trump, how was your holiday weekend? Yeah, uh, a lady gave me the pillow. And here's a picture of him. Okay, this is awesome. That's that you? I'm going to take me as a baby. And that's him. And that's him. And he's Good looking guy. Good dad. Great dad, right? Yeah. Uh, this is where I put her rice on, that's, that's on my mom and dad. This is where I put her rice on my mom. That's nasty. That's where they put her What a boy. What a boy, huh? Well, he's like, he's like a BJ has a long <laughs> time. Your father would be so proud of you, honey. Can you see? 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 Cool, interesting, interesting. Well, guys, if you don't know, this week is the closing arguments for the witch hunt trial of the century. The hush money trial, the sham of a trial, the farce is going on right now as we speak, the closing arguments. Now, I got to say, the defense, man, your argument is too long, man. This should have been two sentences. He did not do it. And that's it, you know. But you went on for two, three hours. Oh my goodness, sir. But um, so that brings a point. Personally, guys, I think that Trump is gonna be found guilty by New York. What? Now, I don't want him to be found guilty, but we see that New York invested too much money. Alvin Bragg and <laughs> the judge, they invested too much time and money. They want a verdict they can stick with. Okay. We all know what this is. is. They want that moniker. They want that tag to go along Donald Trump. They don't want to say former president Donald Trump. They want to get rid of that. They want to say convicted felon Donald Trump. So this is the whole thing. So that's why I believe that he might find guilty for these trumped up charges. Now, Mr. Trump here, I don't think he's going to do any jail time because again, like I said on my earlier post, he has secret services for life and he's a front runner of the GOP. So they ain't going to send him to jail with a secret service in there. So they might make him pay a fine or, you know, get fingerprinted and something like that. But um, 
they want that tag. They want to put that tag on him so the whole media could keep saying this over and over, convicted felon Donald Trump. So you can have the hens on the view, they run along and say the whole time. You have crazy Robert De Niro, who will say the same thing for six, seven months. Bill Maher, all of them, CNN, MSNBC, they will love that tagline. That's it. That's all they're working on for. Because we know if Donald Trump is found acquitted, good news for him, his numbers are going to go up. If he's found guilty and is going to jail, man, he's going to win automatically by a landslide. So they bit off more than they could chew. They didn't see the ramifications of what was going to happen, but they do want a verdict. They want to use that convicted felon tagline on them to sway independent voters and other voters. Speaking of independent voters and the Libertarian Party, <laughs> Mr. Trump is not afraid to go to the lion's den. This past weekend, he went to D.C. Libertarian Party convention and he did this. The Libertarian Party should nominate Trump for President of the United States. Whoa. That's nice. That's nice. Only if you want to win. Only if you want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Yeah, Mr. Trump got booed by the Libertarians. But you think it stopped him? No. Nope. Now, he did get some applause. He did. I think he got some minds changed for the things he said about cryptocurrency. And he had a he had some applause for that. 50 million crypto holders, I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. But again, you see, he's not afraid to go to talk to the people. You see Mr. Biden here, he gets a little booze, and he's ready to fight. Let him go. Look, the reason I'm running is because I've been around a long time, and I know more than most people know, and I can get things done. That's why I'm running. And you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take an IQ test, okay? All right. All right. Number one. Number two. Mr. So, Trump. At least he went out there. He's made a case to the Libertarian Party, although they, they nominated somebody from Atlanta to be their um, Libertarian presidential nominee. This guy here. But at least Trump went out there, and I'm pretty sure he got a few votes, and he made his case to the Libertarian Party. You see what Biden does. Biden doesn't want JFK Jr. to near him. He don't want them on a debate stage. He don't want to talk to the Libertarian Party because they think the Libertarian Party are a bunch of potheads. Okay. So, again, Trump, at least he went there and tried it. He got his booze. He got the boo birds come out on him. He got some people to applaud for him also, but at least he tried. Okay. Anyway, if you guys disagree on my uh, stance about him getting found guilty, leave a comment, all right, so we can talk about it. But again, I think New York wants some blood. They want a pound of flesh. They want to, they already handpicked 12 jury, all them Democrats, okay? The judge is in on it. Everybody is in on it. And they want to make an example out of him. And put that tagline on them. No! It's not going to deter none of us from not voting for them anyway. Because we already see this. We already know what they're trying to do. Right? Right. That's my thoughts for today, guys. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you libertarians, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>